What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to simplify a complex fraction like this. Okay, and I know it looks like a complete mess, but it's actually not too bad. All right, so here we have 2 to the 5th times 125 times 3 to the 4th times 49 over 64 times 5 squared times 7 times 27. Okay, so the trick to this is kind of rewriting some of these numbers, these whole numbers, as numbers with exponents. Because if we can do that, then we can start canceling some stuff out. Okay, so instead of trying to just multiply all this crap out, we can try and simplify some stuff. Okay, so let's start with the top. So here, let's start with the top. So we have 2 to the 5th times 125. How can we rewrite this as a number with an exponent? Well, 125 is the same thing as 5 to the 3rd power, right? And that's going to be convenient because as you can see, we have a 5 to the 2nd power on the bottom. Okay, so we're going to be able to cancel some stuff out there. All right, so you kind of want to look out for the bases specifically, right? There's a 5. We can turn this into a 5 because there's already a 5 down here. And then we can cancel stuff out that way. Okay, so then uh, again, 125 we can rewrite as 5 cubed. So we'll write that as 5 cubed. And then times 3 to the 4th, that already has an exponent on it times 49. Uh, well, 49 we can rewrite as 7 squared, right? And that'll be convenient because, well, we'll have a 7 on top and we already have one on the bottom. Okay, so we can rewrite that as 7 squared, all right? And then this is going to go over. Here we have 64 and you might be tempted to rewrite this as 8 squared, right? Like that. But the issue here is, well, we're going to have an 8 right there, right? But we don't have any 8s up here. So we can't, it's not going to be that easy to just kind of cancel it out. But the thing is 64, that's also the same thing as two to the sixth power. Okay. So that'll be convenient because we'll, we'll have two on the bottom. And as you can see, we have a two on top already, right? So 64, we're going to rewrite as two to the sixth. Okay. So two to the sixth and then times five squared, right? And then times seven, times 27 and 27 we can rewrite as 3 cubed okay and again this is going to be helpful because we'll have a 3 right there and we already have a 3 on top right so we'll rewrite that as 3 cubed okay now as you can see we have a lot of things that kind of match up right we have uh, twos here fives here three here three here and sevens right there right so now we can kind of start canceling some stuff out so on top, we have 2 to the 5th. On the bottom, we have 2 to the 6th, right? Or in other words, on top, we have 5 twos, And on the bottom, we have 6 twos, right? So 5 of these twos are going to kill 5 of these twos on the bottom. So then we're only going to have 1 left, right? We had 6, but we killed 5 of them, so there's only 1 left. Okay, so we're going to have a 2 on the bottom. So let's uh, kind of simplify this out. So we're going to have a 2 on the bottom, right? And let's go to the next one. So here on top we have three fives and on the bottom we have two fives. So these two fives are going to kill two of the fives up here. So we're, gonna, we're only going to have one left on top, right? So then we can write a five on top, okay? Now coming over here to the threes, well we have four threes on top, three threes on the bottom, okay? Three threes are going to kill three of those, so we're only going to have one left over, right? So basically th 3 to the first power. So we're just going to have a single 3 on top. Okay, so we're going to multiply by a single 3 on top. And then lastly, we have these 7s, right? So we have two 7s on top and one 7 on the bottom. So this single 7 on the bottom is going to kill one of the 7s on top, right? So then again, we'll only be left with 1 right there, right? 7 to the first is just 7. So then here, we'll just multiply by 7, okay? So then all we're left with is 5 times 3 times 7 over 2. Okay, and then 5 times 3 times 7, that's equal to 105. Okay, so that's equal to 105, and then we're still dividing by 2, right? And then 100 divided by 2 is equal to 52.5. So this gigantic mess up here is equal to 52.5. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.